and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Singleton Pursuit. That's right, we are going to pursue perfection with this Singleton deck. Um, over, you know, we're playing this um, like it's just you know a normal deck. We're only having one copy of any card. It was a challenge um, made to us for this donation deck. Build a Singleton deck with Piltover and Sawn and Freljord as the regions. There were seven champions that I wanted to play in this, and so, you know, cutting it down to six was really tough. Um, it was the six that we have, Ezreal, Victor, Heimerdinger, Trundle, Vi, Sejuani, but also Braum was the other one that ended up being the, the one out. As you all know, I love playing Braum, and so that was pretty tough. Um, but it, was diff it was difficult uh, finding, it was, you know, between Braum, Heimer, Trundle, Vi, Sejuani is probably going to be one of those probably keeping Victor and Ezreal. Um, but I don't know, maybe maybe it could have been Victor. But yeah, anyway, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. I think like with Singleton decks, the great part about them is all your games are different. You know, like you're never going to have like the same kind of hand twice. And so they're really fun to play in that respect. And you got all sorts of good cards and you just can use them for whatever the situation is. One of our, or so we have like a couple of payoffs for playing Singleton. We have Subpersible. That if you play cards with at least 10 different names, then you uh, grant it plus 4, plus 0. And so that's not going to be too difficult. And then we have Pursuit of Perfection. If we've played 20 cards with different names this game, then we get the Catastrophe. So that card will be pretty good too. All right, but let's give it a try. We got all sorts of awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and have some fun with Singleton Pursuit. With it being a Singleton deck, um, let's just kind of go with like OG style <laughs> board E uh, emotes, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Nasher says Heimer looks clunky. JJ says Victor looks even clunkier. Okay, so Pursuit's going to get mulliganed, of course, from the opener. But I like I like having the Elixir of Iron with Starlet Seer and Ballistic Bot. Hey, Marshmallow. And we have... Um, you know, ignition sump treasure combo. So we're doing our thing. <laughs> does the does the, the deck tracker does it not like this deck list very much? All right, so this is going to be a difficult deck to defeat. Sivir LeBlanc is awesome, especially with Sivir. I'm hoping no Sivir. Sivir is a tough one. LeBlanc we can handle a little bit easier with Avalanche, but Spell Shield kind of rough. Uh, got a couple of different choices here. Um, I think I want to go, obviously the Sub Treasure is like an option. I'm going to actually just play this Starlet Seer and go ahead and cast the ignition. Get that plus one, plus one. The top ally of the deck. This would still give me enough mana for Ezreal plus Mystic Shot next round. That Feel the Rush could be great if we can survive until then. Not incredibly likely that we survive until then. We got Avalanche and Blighter Ravine in hand. I feel like putting it on the Merciless Hunter for Avalanche makes a little bit more sense than just killing this Thrashing You've Snapper. I've got a price. Unfortunately, my opponent found Sivir, the one card that I said, please don't find. <laughs> they had it. All right, well, let's go ahead and just Avalanche. And probably gonna be uh, rummaging away the Ignition and maybe the Blighted Ravine, to be honest. Danger pays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. 
or the Elixir of Iron. I guess, I mean, I love Elixir of Iron, but maybe Elixir of Iron isn't really that necessary for this matchup. Because when they're going to kill my stuff, they're killing it real good. Okay, 4-4 four, four, Avaros and Trapper. Could be pretty decent. Nothing personal. How's the market today, Karima? Full of heavy purses and empty heads. Took the bait. didn't work out mana wise that well to play the bladder ravine right here I'm trying to wait around and play bladder ravine next round but man Sivir is so good that was the one card it's that quick attack and it's so big and hearth card's good how's the market today karima full of heavy purses and empty heads so we know the top card in our deck is Enraged Yeti. Because uh, we put this in and we've drawn two cards since then. So the top card's Enraged Yeti. Like if I if I go Static Shock, we're drawing Enraged Yeti. I think I'm going to... So let's see, this is Focus Speed. Cause I kind of want to block with the Urchin, but I guess I can block with the Bot. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. The War Mother will unite us all. Ah, uh, they got Challenger. That was definitely the one I didn't want them to get. So. Got me good. I wanted Urchin to be able to block that thing. Oh. They're a Reckoning deck. That made life more difficult. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna have eight mana next round. We got a lot of cards over there. All right, so we're 14 out of 20 for Pursuit. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Which is not too bad. Unfortunately, I go Enraged Yeti. They just challenge with Sivir. If I do this. That's still my play. Would have been really nice to have... Not the attack token here. Business as usual. That's not a good sign. Spell Shield is so good. Sivir Ruin Runner. Those two are quite good. Hey, after wizard. Well, that's too bad. All right. Oh, and one. 
Sivir is one of those cards that I think I have an incredibly low win rate against, right? Like whenever my opponent casts a Sivir, I think my win rate is very, very low. I think that's a, a really powerful champion that especially if like things change in the metagame with the, um, with like the balance patch changes that we're expecting, uh, I think that that could be a card that could uh, really rise in a prominence. Yeah, they did have the they had the the round two Preservarium, or yeah, they had, I think it was round two Preservarium. Yeah, they had the Preservarium early to draw multiple cards, and then they also had um, the two Whisper Words, and so yeah, they had lots and lots of card drawn there too. The thing is, like the there's so many like other things that um, people are doing. Man, I have to get rid of one of these. Man, all these cards are so good. I don't know what to discard. They're all so good. There's so many different things that people are doing that are like real powerful and stuff that people kind of just don't even think about. Ruin Runner, <laughs> Ruin Runner, Merciless Hunter, those two, and Sharima for non-champions, they are incredible. Like Ruin Runner is better than a whole lot of other champions, and Merciless Hunter is better than a lot of champions also. are so good. I'm just getting like definite worse cards. Turbo Thralls could be top tier, but if... Yeah, definitely. Turbo Thralls is... I mean, I think Turbo Thralls is already top tier, right? Like, that's that's like the deck I have the worst win rate against as in any deck. But I I can't imagine Lissandra stays the exact same. Moving forward. Lissandra is incredibly overpowered for everything that it does. Something's gonna happen to Lissandra, I would think. Yeah, I can't I can't imagine they don't nerf Lissandra. It could be something with the Watcher, obviously, even or getting rid of the Nexus Tough, or getting rid of absolutely free ice shards every single round. There's something there has to change. We're just going to kind of keep on slamming down five mana champions and just kind of asking questions like, what do you got over there? They obviously have lots of cards and their deck has tons of interaction just in general. But we're going to keep on asking the questions and seeing what kind of answers they have. It's not like that 3-2 matters. Having a card like, um, you know, Flash Freeze in, in hand, I could have that available. Vi stands for violence. If I play Heimer first, I can still play Heimer and have Flash Freeze for the Vi, but then they get like a really nice, easy free challenge on the Vi if I do that. That's a really good moon glow. I gotta just use this just to bust up that moon glow. 
Now, obviously, I wish I would have just done the, the damage to the Sunforger instead. <laughs> now, instead of killing that 3 2, they would have just died to the Avalanche anyway. Oh, Entomb before the Spell Shield? Yeah, I guess I didn't I didn't really think about Entomb too much. Yeah, that would've been nice. Hey, B-Carter. That's what's up, not much. We're just... Uh... They're gonna hush again? Oh, that's cool. Thermogenic Beam Focus technically counts as eight. Morning, take you. For Trundle. That's cool. JJ says, if I had to bet, neither... Neither Lissandra nor TLC is getting nerfed? I would be surprised. I have not played Pool Party Heimer yet. This will be the first time this game, as long as we cast it, which I assume that we will be casting it. Also assuming that they're just going to attack and challenge the Ice Pillar with that. Which I can't stop. And in fact, I won't stop. JJ says, I want both nerfed, but by Riot's own metrics, neither will be. I I think that Riot's kind of learned their lesson with with that, and I, I expect stuff to happen. After the, a lot of people left the game after that patch update or don't play anymore, <laughs> like, in waiting for the next patch update. Like, they they lost a, a good amount of the player base. Like they, I think they've learned, learned their lesson. They talked about that afterwards in that announcement of, sorry, we were too focused on the future and not focusing on the present. So I, I wouldn't, so I, I think they're, like the metrics you're talking about, I think that that has changed. Your backs at the door. That levels up Victor right there. Man, this is seven. Seven's like... Seven's not a good turret to get. Six is a much better turret. I just want to use this... Use this elixir of iron just to get a six mana turret. Dimensions don't determine themselves. We're only at two. Metal is perfection. I really hope they don't have multiple hushes, of course, for the victor. They've already played one hush. They do have the mana for two more, but it can't be likely. It's 
It's not gonna be easy for them to survive this. Playing these, of course, pre-combat to buff up the overwhelm on the victor. So it's 17 overwhelm there. They do, you know, so they got a trade there. Okay. So wipe out their board. For the most part. Now, obviously, I don't have any cards left. We are making this hex core upgrade every single round. Flash freeze is a welcome sight. We know that they have an expensive Celeste Shield. We can kind of guess it's going to be the 8 or 9 mana elusive. That's pretty normal. Just gotta hope they don't <clears throat> have another Mystic Shot. I think they've played two Mystic Shots so far. Well, I don't have the board space for Pursuit Perfection anyway. And there we go. Victor! For the win. Victor with Heimer works so well together because each turret also buffs up the one power for Victor. Twisted by. I like Twisted by. That's a combo I used to play back in the day. Haven't played it in a while. Yeah, singleton deck beating one of the, you know, like that's one of the top Targon decks right now. <laughs> Imagine actually nerfing Celestials. Shields. I don't think Spell Shield made the game better. Like, what if every single Spell Shield was just deleted? I think that may make the game better. Just get rid of Spell Shield completely. Alright, slow hand. But Twisted Vi isn't known as being a particularly fast deck. We're going to have some extra power, especially like Feel the Rush. Yeah, Spell Shield... If they printed Spell Shield like Barrier, that would have been better. Yeah, that that's what it should be, is just seeing like a one-round th thing and not a round forever. You need morons. Just need a target. So I think them playing Twisted Fate's pretty likely, but I'm still just gonna go ahead and play the Victor. Got a couple of different ways to be able to deal with the Twisted Fate. But I could see them like wanting to go to a specific red card and wanting me to play something else first to be able to get a better red card. Alright, so do they have an A plus cost card? They do not. All right, no A plus cost card. The attack looks completely legit. Yep, there's that. There's that bust up the spell shield. I guess I should play Trundle first. I was thinking I was probably going to be playing Avalanche this round, but honestly, I should just be playing Trundle. Are 
screwed. Correct. Once once Bell Shield is popped, then you do not have that. Uh, you do not have that um, keyword anymore. So your next um, your next card for Victor can turn into another uh, spell shield. This Divine Magician is underrated. Underrated. They could have Mystic Shot if I go Ice Shard immediately. So I should probably wait on I I should probably wait on that. Play this first. Cosmos call. Disintegrate. Mm. I guess I do that. No, that's that's correct, Martin. That's what I was saying. If you can. Yes, you can get. If the spell shield gets popped, you can get a new spell shield from for Victor. That's absolutely possible. Let's just pass. If they want to pass too, that's cool with me. Maybe we use this get excited or something. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpentine. Doesn't matter that we're leveling up Victor now, because we don't have any more Victors in the deck. So we're still going to be given the... I decided not to use the, the Get Excited on the um, Twisted Fate, so we're going to be given the Twisted Fate Vulnerable. Zero's only at two. Don't blink, or you miss me. I'm out. I think I'd rather keep Mr. Shot in my hand than um. I'm one mana short from playing Feel the Rush next round anyway, but I'll just I'll just do two damage to Subversible, then use the Mystic Shot. Calculated Creations. Creating their own Ballistic Bot? Oh, that was from... I bet that was from the... Um, the Barkeep. All right, Sejuani leveled up. Now there is no to stop. Winter, take you. We're gonna be able to feel the rush next round. All right, so our options are: we've seen three of our champions. So we're gonna have Sejuani, Vi, and Heimer. If it's a fight they want. I was thinking that I was just going to be blocking the Badger Bear with the, the, with the Ice Pillar. I'm hoping Sejuani is one of them. Because then Sejuani, then Ignition, Frostbite's all their stuff. Yeah, it could be Ten Ten Heimer. Remember back whenever the Freljord Shadow Isles control decks would, would win the game with Feel the Rush? Before Watcher? That was a long time ago, back before Watcher. All right, we got level Sejuani. 
And the Vi starts as a 10-10, but can still get the plus 8, plus 0. So, like, <laughs> Vi can keep going. Another plus 8. Alright, we'll Frostbite them all. Alright, we'll have you challenge this thing, we'll have you challenge that thing, you can just attack. And that looks good. And there we go. Okay. Field a rush, get it done. Singleton pursuit? Two and one. Aurelia Azir. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult for us. But we got some tools. We got Blighted Ravine. I like the Hearth Guard, but Hearth Guard does kind of cost five mana, so I went ahead and mulliganed it from the opener. Yeah, six unique champions with Field of Rush. You get a new flavor every pull. <laughs> That's one comfortable doggo back there. Check out these moves. I should have used Thermogenic Beam. I just kind of clicked OK. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. I should have used Thermogenic Beam. So this cost me two mana. What I could have had. Which may not matter, right? Because if I don't play anything right here... Oh, I did have something to play. I was going to say, if I don't play anything right here, then that two mana wouldn't be that important. Um... Yeah, I could have two mana right now. Two mana would be pretty nice. Be able to play Victor and then Hexcore upgrade. That would be pretty nice. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. Yeah, that two mana would be really nice to have. Troll Chant and Ravine. Israel could be interesting. Steady your heart. Find Tell the people what you have seen today. It is fine. The order is given. Your Emperor commands. Their hand wasn't bad. Sparring student into Green Glade Duo, into Azir, into Dancing Droplet, plus Aurelia, into Blossoming Blade. That doesn't sound like a bad first five turns, I wouldn't say. That sounds like a pretty good first five turns, actually. Oh, yeah. Let's have another Aurelia. Well, this could have been different if I would have had that extra two mana, but I don't think very different. Congratulations on winning in normal, opponent. You're really good. Yeah, we're winning this. We're going three and two. We're going to get a winning record with our 
uh, Mono Shurima deck. We'll keep by, send those back. Not necessarily the best ones to start out with, but that's okay. next round. Could have done this next round and maybe had the first spell. Yeah, the Nightshard would have been my second spell. That's alright. Forgot we had Chump Womp in here. Not too bad. So we're all tied up right now. Five and five. We use the same amount of cards. They have dealt one more Nexus damage. But that's not so bad. Badger Bear. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Metal is perfection. End of decor upgrade. Fortunately, fearsome is not the best keyword. So Babbling Bear can hit like Sejuani and Avarosen Hearthguard. Excuse you. That's what it's going to be doing. Ooh, that one's good. With the challenger. I'm a little worried about single combat. Like, I play Vi, they go single combat. Um, keeping the Elixir of Iron available. Alright, get that Fury. Plus one, plus one, please. Thank you. So I kind of want to go Tavern Keeper to heal the Victor... But then I don't have like Sejuani or Vi available. So I'll keep Sejuani Vi available and just play this Hexcore upgrade. Spell Shield! I imagine they have another concussive bomb. Our ancestors are watching. Oh, Vanguard Redeemer. Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, of course. Victor's at five. Can level up Victor this round with Hexcore Mushroom Cloud. We're not doing that bad on like cards, right? Like they have eight cards, yes, but um, we're not that far off. Spell Shield. Regen. Regen, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. 
I can't really single combat either of those. I think I'm okay to just play Vi. I think we're okay. I don't think they were killing Victor with two mana. Sweet. Zevi? Wait, Zevi, why are you fleeting? Wait, why is the Zevi fleeting? Oh, it's a bug? So I, like, have to play Zevi this round? But I don't even want to play Zevi this round. Like, will the Zevi go away, or is it just, like, a visual bug that says fleeting, but it's not actually fleeting? It's actually fleeting. No, I shouldn't be attacking here. This lets them play champion. I should just be casting Victor and then passing the round. I should be playing Victor or uh, Zevi and passing the round. Oh, you can have that thing. That's cool. I'm worried about the champions. You are. So Zevi, of course, you know, give it fleeting, creating exact copies. Oh no! Pursuit! So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so we're gonna just burn our Pursuit Perfection, unfortunately. But what I was gonna say is, like, these are copies. Right? And so... Um... They cost less, cause, like, Victor makes it cost less. Or I guess it'll only, oh, it only makes the second one cost less. But Victor will make the second one cost less. Unfortunately, Pursuit of Perfection was, like, the worst card to hit. Starless here is pretty sweet, though. Yeah, we're a singleton deck that just runs one Pursuit. I mean, you don't really need Pursuit to win. We haven't cast Pursuit in any of these games. But, yeah, we're... We are a singleton deck through and through. That includes Pursuit of Perfection. So each spell, each time we play like one of these Hexcore upgrades, we're going to be giving our our top unit in our deck plus two, plus two. I really should not have done that challenge the previous round. You own what you attack. They can have another Lux for the barrier. Yep. Prismatic barrier is underrated. Well, perfect turn for the opponent. Yeah, I'm going to have one Urchin discard the other Urchin. Draw a new card. Blessed by snow and stars. But now, the new card will just be fleeting and just get burned. So it may not actually be worth it. I guess it's still worth it. Because it could be a card that costs three or less. 
but if it, you know, it could be just, it could be like a champion or something, but then again, like, whatever card that is, like, we can pretend like we're drawing the bottom card, right? Because they're all random, so... Yeah, so it's just like this troll chant that doesn't necessarily do anything. Um, yeah, casting it just helps out Starless here, so I guess make, casting it makes sense. I guess it helps out, that one helps out Victor. I'll just cast the one. Keep the spell mana. Because if we if we hit feel the rush, right, we're gonna want to be able to play it. Lux is so good. Lux been killing all my stuff. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Lux was definitely who I was scared of. They're not that far off of being out of... Like, they've, they've used a lot of removal spells, right? Like, they've used Will of Ionia multiple times, multiple single combats, Concerted Strike. Man, I feel like this is... problematic. Oh, what are they gonna... Because oh, they have another barrier. I shoot it. I think, I think we're okay. Yay! Virtue guides me. Yeah, more of those things. Yes, of course. Get rid of the elusive. Shadow. This will be a good winter. Yeah, buddy. That's a great Starless Seer. <laughs> Starless Seer Zevi. Now we talk him. Oh, I should probably maybe play the Trappers first. I don't know. Cause the thing about the Trappers is like we're, it's gonna put those Enrage Yetis in play, and I don't, or like in, on top of the deck, and I don't really want to draw Enrage Yeti right now. Spell Shield, good. Oh wait, you're almost leveled up, Sejuani. Zevi's not really a liability. The trap is set. I wouldn't say. It's gonna help me get more enraged yetis and stuff like that. Yeah, I wish I would have played the Trapper to block. That is awesome. Multiple static shocks. Draw those puff caps. Level up Sejuani. Man, static shock is such a great draw right there. Yeah, Static Shock, insane top tech. We know the next two cards are both going to be Yetis. The sun is shining. We should too. approach. Time for a field test. This is my choice. Stay back. I will end this here. Yeah, this is Stay back. This is going to be great. Back the darkness. Stay back. Enough stall. Hold back the darkness. That was I will That static shock was here. so good cuz they they go like concerted strike here, try to kill Sejuani, we frostbite their stuff first. So their concerted strike does nothing. That's like game. That was a status shock was perfect. That's why you got. That's why you play singleton deck. Oh, will of Ionia, sure, whatever. That's why I got play singleton. Cause you never know what you need to draw. Play with me. 
You never know what you need to draw. Each one of these will just buff up Victor. What did you catch? Cool. So we got we got through the Enraged Yeti part of our deck. I talked about how I didn't really even want to draw the Enraged Yetis. The Static Shock got us through the Enraged Yeti part of our deck. Oh wait, they're at three. I guess I should just do this. I guess that's a thing. And there we go, three and two. Winning record there with Singleton Pursuit. Yeah, Singleton decks are, are a lot of fun. Like, cause all these cards did like awesome stuff, right? Like that Starless, like that Zevi that last game was like really cool. Sure, we had to burn our Pursuit of Perfection, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, giving Fleeting to, you know, drawing multiple copies of a lot of other things was awesome. Obviously the multiple Static Shocks, but the multiple um, Starless Seers, right? Like we got two Starless Seers. Which then, you know, gave plus eight, plus eight to the trapper. And then so we get two of those. We get two 11-11 trappers. We had the two mystic shots. That was helpful. Um, but yeah, a lot of these cards did really well. Even like the Averroes and Marksman kind of trading straight up with the Petty Officer. Like, you know, killing the one thing and then being able to block. It did its thing. Ezreal was just kind of some bait for removal. Helping slow the opponents down. We did get to feel the rush the one game. Didn't get to Howling Abyss. Um, but yeah, lots of lots of awesome stuff. Victor did its job. Nice little one of there, I'd have to say. Did a lot of cool stuff with Victor. Awesome deck. There we go. Singleton Pursuit. If y'all if y'all like playing singleton decks, definitely recommend it. Checking it out. I could see playing the Braum over the Heimer if you if you don't really like the Heimer, but you know, Heimer can do some really cool stuff too, making all the turrets, helping out Victor, helping out your pursuit of perfection, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it can do that. But uh there we go. That's gonna be it here for this one. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there, and as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the Singleton deck. Hopefully, y'all really enjoyed it. Um, it was definitely a fun one to play. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.